they really tend to think about Cartagena and Medellin, which makes a lot of sense. If you guys watch my channel, you know I love Medellin. I'm pro Medellin. And Cartagena has a ton of beaches, nightlife, activities. It makes a whole lot of sense. But listen, do not sleep on Salento. Salento, when I tell you gorgeous, is an understatement. I would highly recommend if you can fit this into your trip, try and fit it into your trip when you come to Colombia. And while I didn't see a lot of American tourists in Salento, Colombians definitely know about Salento. This is definitely common knowledge. So much so that if you look at the back of a $100 bill, all those tall trees that you see are actually in Salento. When I tell you, let me check the pronunciation of this place so I don't mess it up, because I'm really not good with that. Kokoda Valley. Guys, when I tell you Kokoda Valley is straight out of a magazine, a movie, uh, whatever, it is so gorgeous that it literally makes no sense. So technically, Kokoda Valley is not in Salento. It's about 20 minutes outside of Salento. So what they have in Salento are all these Jeeps. I'm talking about like 20, 30 Jeeps. And it costs about 10 mil pesos to get there one way and 10 mil pesos to get back. This is about $2.50, so a $5 round trip. And they pile you into the Jeep and then they take you 20 minutes down there. So you have two options. You can actually sit down in the Jeep and you'll see a little bit of views here and there. Or you can do like I'm doing and take a little bit of the dangerous ride. You can ride on the Jeep. I'm telling you, hop on top and get them views. It was gorgeous on the way there. I'm talking about, it was so gorgeous like I have this thing, I guess, whenever I see really gorgeous places, I just get kind of emotional and really grateful that I get to travel the world like this. And I mean, it was definitely one of the moments. I'm riding through, everything is green, it's cows on the side, it's horses on the side, the wind's blowing in my face, I'm feeling amazing. I'm telling you, that is the way to travel to Kokoda Valley. And on top of that, you can actually see it going from like being regular trees till it then go into these massive, massive trees that are two, 300 feet in the air. And that is actually the start of the Kokoda Valley tour. And in my opinion, Kokoda Valley's most infamous, Instagrammable, beautiful places are actually right in the front once you start the tour. Listen, if you go there when it is some good weather in the morning time, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, mind-blowingly gorgeous. Once you get there, you'll see a ton of places that you can take pictures at, take videos at. This is truly an Instagrammable place. So what they have is an area with professional photographers and different landscapes where you can take pictures at. And you only have to pay $10 and when I tell you, you walk in through this little pathway and you're seeing nothing but green on this side and green on this side and the trees are so high and the weather is just perfect. I mean, guys, when I'm recording this video that I'm showing you, I'm literally sitting here in awe of how beautiful it is. And it's something I've seen before. I've been to Salento before, but that's something that you just always are gonna appreciate when you go. And honestly, I hope I get a chance to go again in this lifetime. It was so gorgeous. Now, beyond all the Instagrammable places, Salento definitely has plenty of hiking trails. And with these hiking trails, you can either decide to go by horse or you can go by foot. I would say my favorite part of the hike was definitely towards the beginning because the entranceway was just, again, mind-blowingly gorgeous. And on top of that, they had this field with like maybe seven or eight wild horses. And this is another pro tip, guys. This will really make your tour cool. If you can, buy maybe five or six bananas, buy like three or four apples. It'll cost you four bucks. And go and feed the horses. I went to feed the horses. I made a new friend. And actually, Pablo really wants to tell you himself. So I'm gonna let Pablo tell you. I need you to tell everybody right now to like and subscribe to my channel okay you got me Ooh, all right all right maybe i lied pablo really just wanted the banana but you still should go subscribe and like this video now if you're tired after you do kokoda valley and you just want to chill in the town 
The town itself is actually pretty nice. They have the square, which has a ton of different shops and bars and places where the locals drink and chill. And then they have this really long street. And up that street, you have all different types of shops. You got different types of restaurants, food vendors selling stuff, people performing. Those are just kind of like the shopping street of any town. I'm not even a guy to really like window shop or shop like that when I'm in different cities. But I passed this one store and I saw these shoes. And I literally stopped and I was like, man, I gotta check these out. Ended up going in there and talking to this Colombian woman born in Salento. If you watch my channel, you know I'm really born and raised the West Side Atlanta. This lady lived in Decatur, Georgia, y'all. So we're talking in Spanish about where I'm from, my life in America, and I'm like, yeah, I'm from a city called Atlanta. Tu conozcas Atlanta? And she's like, yeah, I used to live in Decatur. I had, my sister was over there in Decatur, so I spent a couple years out there in Decatur. And I'm looking at her, cause she doesn't speak English, and I'm like, you were in Decatur? Shout out my new friend, Melina. She runs a shop called La Zapateteria. And if you guys watch my channel, you know I love to highlight cool business owners when I'm out traveling, meeting different types of people. And she definitely aligns with that. So here's Melina to talk about her company, talk about her products, and to talk about the positive impact that her business has on Colombian women. Wesley, nosotros agradecemos mucho para que ustedes vengan y, y nos visiten que vengan y nos apoyen en este proyecto que nosotros somos es un grupo de mujeres que trabajamos haciendo todo en la artesanía todo lo que nosotros hacemos son zapatos, tenis, suecos todo es hecho a mano y toda la, la programación que tenemos con estas señoras son personas que no tenían posibilidad ni de estudiar ni de trabajar ahora generan unos ingresos y tienen un arte porque antes no tenían posibilidades son personas que fueron abusadas desde muy joven maltratadas en todos los sentidos, ahora gracias al señor tenemos este proyecto y nos va muy bien, pero gracias a ustedes todos los turistas que vienen y nos apoyan con sus compras y gracias de nuevo y qué bueno que vayan y cuenten todo lo que nosotros hacemos acá, que bienvenidos. Malena, shout out to you if you're watching this video, I told you I was going to post you. Now most people come for Concordia Valley, but guys, they actually have a lot of other things to do. You can definitely do a coffee tour, and I saw a couple of advertisements for that. But what I decided to do was a mountain biking tour, and it was really, really fun. A little dangerous, a little, a little dangerous. Colombians have a bad tendency to maybe be a little too nice and not super honest sometimes. So when I asked bro what the level of difficulty was, he was like, yeah, bro, it's a one. Like, everybody can come with you, girls can come. Babies can come, kids can come. This is a family event. And I'm like, cool. We start this hike and we're going down the hill and I realized, man, I gotta focus on not dying this whole tour. What they did was drive us up an actual mountain and then let us ride down the mountain. So most of this was downhill. Luckily, I took some footage of it and it was really fun. I would say the best part about this tour actually wasn't the mountain bikes. I had the best coffee of my life, guys. We went to this little hut and they bought out a couple of cups of coffee and they mixed it with vanilla, which is cane sugar. And I mean, literally it was chef's kiss. I've never tasted coffee that good in my life. I'm honestly not even a coffee fan. Like in Medellin, if I drink coffee, it's cause I need some extra energy for work. I'm not drinking coffee cause I just like to drink coffee. But that was different. Definitely the best coffee I ever had. Now, if you are on that same street, the shopping street, and you walk to the very end, you're gonna see this large stairwell. And this goes up to what's called the Mirador de Salento. It's free to walk up there. And when you walk up there, you'll see a bunch of vendors and different games you can play. I actually play like this shooting game and Bro actually kind of cheated me out of my bullseye. Like, if you, just look at the video real quick. Bullseye! <gasps> bullseye! Yeah! I'm so nice with it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Adios mios! Cassie. 
Come on, man. Oh! <laughs> he definitely cheated me out of my bullseye. He didn't give me no money, no prize. It's all right. In general, that's a really cool place to go. It's free to walk up. The snacks are pretty cheap, two or three bucks. And you can take some really nice pictures and get a great view of Salento. If you don't take anything else from this video, take your ass to Salento. It is amazing. I love Salento. I hope I can go back again. I I think that might be my favorite place in Colombia, specifically like the Cocorda Valley area. I think that's my favorite place in Colombia. Guys, if you get a chance, go. Hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, you know it's love. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. Y'all heard what Pablo said, man. I'm just telling you to do what Pablo said. Hey, until next time, man, peace, love, all that good stuff. Yes, sir.